Well, if your car is ever damaged in an accident and repaired through a major insurance company in this country, there are major state and federal lawsuits underway that you should probably know about. Auto body shops across the United States, more than 500 of them, claim that some big insurance companies have long deliberately skimped when it comes to repairing damaged vehicles. Also, the insurance companies can pad their profits. The lawsuits allege it's a scheme that can not only lead to rushed and minimal repairs, but repairs that include using recycled, remanufactured, as one lawyer puts it, junk parts to fix your car. Some attorneys general believe the alleged scheme may have another effect. You could be driving a very dangerous car. CNN senior investigative correspondent Drew Griffin reports tonight. The, uh, to see what's really going on, you've got to do something you probably can't do at home. Lift what you think is your repaired car. Get out something called a boroscope and check inside the car, inside the frame, to see if the auto body shop actually fixed it. The auto body shop, your insurance company most likely recommended. There's the rip in the rail right here. Bill Byrne, a national auto repair expert, testifies in court about bad repairs, and this, he says, is one of them. The result of a system designed to save money for insurance companies. What they did was they replaced a new end cap on there, and the end cap actually covers that, so the consumer would never see this. It is unsafe. And yet they put it back on the road? Correct. Byrne is now part of the major lawsuit involving more than 500 auto body shops in 36 states, all suing dozens of insurance companies across the country. The shops believe the insurance industry is involved in a deliberate system to send you and your car to shops that are pre-selected by insurers to do the absolute bare minimum to fix it, even telling body shops to use used or recycled parts because they're cheaper. Matt Parker is an auto shop owner in Monroe, Louisiana, who says he sees the same problem. He says State Farm told him to use a remanufactured headlight in a Toyota Tacoma. This is what he got. Well, so it's got a hole in it here, and then and then you can see where they screwed screwed this bracket back on the vehicle. Now you can see here where all these parts, where these were knocked off and glued back together. You can also see here where the top corner in the lens is busted, and this part of the headlight is broken. This came out of a, a, a box wrapped like it was supposed to be. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's like a, supposed to be like a new part. The insurance company wants us to put this stuff on their car. Now, if we refuse to put it on the car, then they label us as a shop not willing to, to go along with their program, and then they try to steer their business, steer our business away from us. Which is why he and the other shops have retained John Arthur Eves to sue. Every state in the union has experienced the same sort of struggle here between the body shops trying to do the, the work the right way and the insurance companies trying to cut corners and force them to use unsafe parts and unsafe methods on their cars. Attorneys General Jim Hood of Mississippi and Buddy Caldwell of Louisiana, they believe it too. Mississippi is preparing a lawsuit. Louisiana has filed, claiming State Farm's practice is putting drivers in danger. And what is the practice? What's being put in their cars? Well, aftermarket parts, junkyard parts, and all of this without any communication with the consumer. And that's the main issue, the safety issues and the knowledge that their product is being devalued by the practices of the insurance company. I mean, Buddy's found uh, n numerous cases here in Louisiana. We found them in Mississippi where they would force a body shop to, you know, uh, put junk parts and weld and patch. And when auto shops don't go along, Mississippi's Attorney General says those auto shops business gets cut. It's called steering. Insurance companies steering business elsewhere. And they're going to say, well, we're going to blackball you. We won't put you on our select service list. Um, and we're going to make you send us estimates five different times just to, just to aggravate you. That's what they do. They use their economic power to grind down working people. U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal, who used to be Connecticut's Attorney General, says not only is there a potential for small businesses to be hurt, he too believes cars repaired through insurance companies' preferred service centers pose a safety risk. And he's asked the U.S. Department of Justice to investigate. Salvage parts, inferior or even counterfeit parts, certainly raise safety concerns. And often those kinds of parts are involved in this practice of steering. And that's why. I have been concerned for years about it, 
and why I think the Department of Justice should be investigating. Louisiana's uh, attorney and, general and, chose to sue State Farm Insurance because State Farm is the biggest dealer, insurer in his state. In legal filings, the company denies all the allegations, including the allegation that State Farm mandates using aftermarket parts. And State Farm would not grant an interview, but sent a statement instead. It says our customers choose where their vehicles are going to be repaired. We provide information about our select service program, while at the same time making it clear they can select which shop will do the work. State Farm told us to bring our specific questions to Neil Oldridge with the National Association of Mutual Insurance Companies. It is just not in the economic interest of the insurer to have a car go in and out of an auto body shop three or four times to get it right. Why would insurance companies require or recommend used parts, fixed parts, uh, off-market parts? Sure. Uh, most companies don't require this. Most companies offer a choice to consumer. Most of the, any sort of aftermarket part that you might hear about is, are usually cosmetic parts. So they're nothing related to the safety, the, the mechanical parts of the, of the, of the uh, operation of the vehicle. There are laws in almost every state that require consumers to be told that they're, you know, if they're for aftermarket parts are going to be used and then what those parts are. We found that notice on page four of this estimate on page six of this one. In many cases, these parts are, they're no different. They're made on the same, in the same factories. One just comes out with a auto manufacturer's name on well, it and Neil, others that's, don't. That's not true. Oh, it is true. It certainly isn't true in the case of this replacement hood for a Honda. It's made in Taiwan, but already coming apart. This aftermarket bumper straight out of the box not only doesn't fit, but the fasteners have been glued back together. And then there's the question about that broken and repaired Toyota Tacoma headlamp. It's obviously a repurposed part from a junkyard. And if you look closely, you'll see how it was glued together, snapped together, in some cases even welded and screwed together. And this is, the, this is what the insurer told the preferred body shop to put on a car. I mean, look at this. You wouldn't want that in your car. I wouldn't want that in my car. Yeah, I really don't know the circumstances of the pictures, so I really can't comment on that. So are the attorneys general wrong in saying that the insurance industry in a whole, State Farm in particular, is steering their customers to preferred body shops, preferred because they save the insurance company money not the consumer. The, the insurance company may provide a list of auto body shops and the customer can say, no, I want to go to Joe's body shop around the corner. And that's their choice. That is certainly what Progressive Insurance told us happened for this car. Remember, it's the car we told you about earlier with the ripped tail frame that you could only spot with the boroscope. It was hit from behind, repaired at a preferred insurance company shop and sent back on the road with a ripped and hidden tail frame. It turns out the ripped tail frame isn't all that wasn't repaired. Three of four tire rims are still damaged. The undercarriage of the car has been pushed in, according to auto expert Bill Byrne, and outside the paint job is filled with pock marks. Progressive Insurance says they didn't choose the body shop, the owner did. Well, this is the owner. Eugenia Randall, a single mom who needs the car to carry around her two-year-old son, Roman. And she remembers the conversation with Progressive much differently. They didn't give me a choice as to where I wanted to take it. They just told me to take it to their preferred body shop. Randall says she thought because it was a preferred shop, it would actually be repaired to a higher standard. But when she picked it up, she immediately knew something wasn't right. Well, cosmetically, to me, it looked fine. But once I got in and got down the street, it just started driving really crazy. And I immediately took it back. So how crazy was Randall's car driving? I decided to find out for myself by getting behind the wheel. Anything over 50 miles an hour, this thing just shakes like a little. All right, this baby's really shaking now. Not only was the tail section ripped and unrepaired, three of four tire rims were damaged. And as I drove, the steering wheel was shaking so violently, I had to grip down to keep the car from veering to the right. The front left tire was just wobbling. I carefully drove this shaking car right back to the insurance company's preferred auto body shop, where the general manager 
promptly told us to leave. Do me a favor, don't turn that on without Service King's permission, if you don't mind. As for Eugenia Randall's shaking car, the insurance company eventually declared it a total loss, giving her full replacement value, but only after she hired an attorney and after CNN began investigating this story. It's unbelievable. Drew Griffin joins us now. I mean, I had no idea about this whole, uh, this whole plan they have. I mean, did the repair company that supposedly fixed that shaking car, did they ever give an explanation? That company, Service King, they told us they did what the insurance company approved and said all their repairs come with a written lifetime warranty. Anderson Service King's corporate office told us it wasn't unaware there were any problems or complaints and therefore was not given the opportunity to fix them. That, of course, is completely at odds with what Mrs. Randall told us. 